Qatar Silver Cup. Jason Pride and Dane King shot off the front. Here on Night Thunder on seven. Let's go racing. Jason Pride forces Jamie Mayolo into the curve there at the end of turn four. Here comes Dane King shot automatic to Toyota turn number two and takes the race lead. So it's King shot who leads from Jason Pride to Callum Williamson and then back to Jamie Mayolo. Da JD Dak has to give up some room there for King uh, for uh, Lancaster while out in front your race leader just scoots away. Callum Williamson trying to chase down Jason Pride down the back straight and swings onto the inside. Pride will have a better exit out of four and keeps in second spot for now. So we have a couple of laps down. Everyone's getting through unscathed. Oh, Kendrick rides the wheel and they have caught on top of each other at the rear of the field and they are stationary and the, well, the horrid night continues for Jason Kendrick. He was back in the pack and unfortunately the race has come to an end. Well, the speed shot's going to show this in spectacular fashion. Come into the front straight and have a look at this on the left hand side of the camera shot. Yeah, so we, we caught the, the back end. Yep. So All right. right, let's have another look. Here we go, here's the speed shot. This is where we'll see it best, I think. They just got hooked up. It's amazing. It's remarkable. Chris is right there on the scene. Yeah, and then they, they went to push away and then they stopped, but uh, looks like he is good to go now. Just has to go the wrong way down the freeway by the speedway to get back out into this race. Kendrick is back in the hunt. We're just looking at Jack Williamson to see if they can get him back in the race. They're still trying to work on that right-hand side nerf bar on the 24 car. Coming out to your starting top five. Two laps down, 28 to go. A silver cup is up for grabs. And Dane Kingshot, winner last time that he raced here at this Motorplex last weekend. Can he go back to back? Williamson tries a move on Pride, can't get past. So they go back into their previous positions. Williamson comes again. Can he have the speed out of two? They almost came perilously close together. Three laps down. Fourth now down the back straight. And Williamson is uh, chasing hard. But meantime, King shot has put a bit of a space on them already out in front. Uh, plenty of packs coming into turn number four now as they go down the main straight. So King shot leads from Pride and then Williamson there in third place. Fourth place at this stage is Jamie Mayolo. Then there's a gap to the rest of them and that is JD Dack. Second place is swap spots. The 14 and the three of Jason Pride and Callum Williamson. Pride back to second place. Williamson goes to second as Pride hits the fence as they run down the back straight. Our leader is long gone. Dane Kingshot has a big margin uh -oh. after six. Bang, bang, bang. And there's another crash at the back. And, and Jason Kendrick has slid into <laughs> a car that's rolling over. And it's a 77, can you believe it? Back under green, five down, 25 to go. King shot leads Williamson as they come around the cone. And our race leader is now Callum Williamson. Swings to the lead. Going back underneath is the two of Dane Kingshot. A lot going on further back, but they're safely got through. And Kingshot will lead lap number six. So Kingshot just ahead at the moment, but I feel like this is a battle that could continue on for the next few laps or so. If it wants to go for the next 24, that'd be wonderful. Kingshot just scoots away just as they enter turn number three. And they go right up near the wall there at uh, Mobile One, turn four, and into the Opal Finance front straight as well. King shot just gets away a little bit here from uh, Callum Williamson. JD Dack has moved up a bit now. He's up into fourth and Jamie Mayolo back to fifth as we get through eight laps. So eight laps down. It's a ripping race up front, isn't it, right now? Although he looks like he might have just assumed control, Dane King shot, as he starts to just go that little bit quicker, accelerates away with a 14.44 last time round. Callum Williamson, 14.88. So 0.4 of a second. Make that 0.96 as they go through lap nine. Jason Pride. 3.73 seconds behind and then 5.8 for Maiolo. You can see him on the screen right now. JD Dak puts him under pressure and Chris Coyle's also there as well. Dak goes past, Coyle up on the outside, 10 laps are down. And Andrew Priolo is the next retiree. The eight car is gone. Our race leader is weaving his way through the traffic at the moment. There's the battle further back between Dak and Coyle. This is for fourth and fifth on the racetrack. They're coming out of turn three and four into the main straight. 
11 and a half down for our race leader. He's half a lap ahead of this battle, which rages on as now it's Coyle back into fourth. Dak back to fifth, Dak back to fourth as they go head to head up into turn three. And Inglis, by the way, from 16th up to eighth, and he might even be in the seventh spot. In on before turn number three, and he gets a nice little flying start. He caught him on the hop, I reckon, as uh, already he heads down the back straight with probably a 30 metre lead. Oh, getting out of shape is Dak in front of a pack, and he's gotten away with it, and the others smart enough to put on the brakes and avoid oh. everything that might unfold. Me time, look oh. out. Oh, yes, great save. Great save was cannoning towards the fence and Criollo, Satori, Francis, uh, JD Dak. Here we go. We're underway once again. We're left with about a field of 16, I reckon, or thereabouts as they go snarling down the back straight. And Dane Kingshot, again, he's been able to put a gap, although uh, I must say that Callum Williamson is a lot closer this time. And those two oh, have shot. Yeah. Oh, no! It is Lancaster! And Lancaster went flying into the fence, and he's done a doing, terrible... Doing okay. Here's the replay for the fans. It was the 60 of Manders just up a little bit higher than uh, than he expected and you expected, and unfortunately, that ends your night. Yeah, the old house horn got me that time. It's uh, not the first, but oh, it's racing, huh? We all have our turn, I guess, tonight. I was the bug on the window. Sometimes you're the bug, sometimes you're the windshield, I guess. Let's hope I can get through two laps, Chase. Otherwise, we might be here till midnight. Here they go. Kingshot, Williamson, Pride and Coyle. Well, at least they've got around two turns, or have they? Oh, nearly scraping into the fence was Pride. He gets going again, gets his spot back, got past Coyle. One lap down. Are they all going to get around turn number four? That's the question. Race leaders going down the back straight. The tail enders are coming out of turn number four. And at the rear of the field, it's Brock Fan is in the 92 car they're going down the back straight there you go jace it's over to you 16 laps down we have got to lap 16 14 remain it's king shot from williamson there is pride in third coil coming at him now this is the battle for third and fourth they're a long way behind the lead two cars who have really dominated this race king shot and williamson so we've done 17 pride goes to the inside coil to the outside as they move out of turn number two coil and pride very close together coil moves into third though well, they've been training blows for four laps these two jason pride and chris coil and coil now has a couple of car lengths between harding. him and pride but here comes to, uh, daniel harding who is looking to go up the top step out of the track he's right up near oh they make a little bit of contact there pride and harding going down the triple m back straight meanwhile further back in oh, the no. field another car has come to a stop oh. and almost took out king Dave shot. king shot I think that might be Jaron Bealby in the 39 car that has come to a King spin while Dane Kingshot has stopped. has stopped on the racetrack and that is not good news because if you stop, he go goes to the rear. The Someone else from taking you out Here's you the stop. replay. So tracking Dane Kingshot here, you'll see up ahead. Pretty sure that's Jaron Bealby who spins and then Kingshot having to try and save it. But unfortunately, He's not rolling and he has stopped. This is the restart of the Silver Cup Maddington Toyota Sprint Car Series on Night Thunder here on 7. And Callum Williamson, your race leader, scoots away. Look further back with uh, Dane Kingshot, makes up a couple of spots as Jason Pride loses out to Daniel Harding. And Daniel Harding is now third spot on the track, but he's chasing down Chris Coyle, who's just up ahead as well. Williamson out already by 1.5 seconds on this chasing pack. It is Daniel Harding and also Jason Pride, who really loves that wall. He's getting safely past Milling. Oh, almost went up to the rear of Cam McKenzie. Had to back off the gas. Gets it going again. Coyle Harding are a long way behind. 28 down. So he moves down into turn number three and four. He'll come into the main straight. The white lights will come on. He's lapped up to ninth place now. He'll lap up to eighth place as he goes underneath the 25 of Taylor Milling. Sweeps under both of Milling and also Cam McKenzie. He finished first in the Griggy Boys shootout. He finished second on the second night of the shootout. He then finished second last week. He wins tonight. Callum Williamson wins round 15 of the Mannington Toyota Sprint Car Series. And he wins by over five seconds from Chris Coyle. Daniel Harding third, Caden Manders fourth. Dane Kingshot recovered and got fit. Last and he when he finished second, Callum Williamson onto the top wing. Your winner of round 15 of the Mannington Toyota Sprint Car Series.
Daniel Harding, as we mentioned, finishing second.